Hello, my friends, and welcome to part two of Case Two of the Dark Side Detective Fumble in the Dark. Hope you guys enjoyed part one, and I hope you are looking forward to solving case number two. I have no doubt that our combined brain power is easy enough to solve any of these cases. Um, don't forget to um, stop by my Twitch if you want to watch me do this live and help me solve the puzzles in real time. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Uh, appreciate you all, and I'll see you all on the next one. <clears throat> I do my feet early, calm down. They have it. They have. It took a lot of work, but it's un it's winged in down. Okay, in you come, then. Cups of tea, let's go, and sandwiches. What? Where did the tea and sandwiches come from? I had time to make a little snack while you were looking into all that rowdy business. Oh, well, uh, thanks. Uh, I I'm a bit peckish. A selection of sandwiches. I'm shocked at the variety. Why did she have all this stuff lying around? Uh, in case her favourite grandson came to visit, obvs. Brain. Grandpa Dooley, he wasn't even gone when they took this out. We were still married for four years after that. Who throws out a perfectly good skull? Honestly. Is that my credit card? I've been wondering where that went. Oh, is it yours? I can't see well with these glasses. I've just been using it to open the sliding doors when people lock me out. You mean your door when you lock you out? Right, Annie. I'm taking this back. Be my guest. I'm like the wind. No door here can keep me out. Teapot. Always have to have a pot of uh, silo sibin to hand in in case I want to take a trip out of this place. Nanny. Nah. Nanny, is that the yo-yo you told me you got lost in the wash? Told me you got lost in the wash. What? The one you were always playing with and constantly annoying me with? Oh, uh, no. We're going to do all these just as a heads up. No wonder somebody threw out this creepy eyeless doll. Oh, she had eyes when I found her. But then somebody had to learn to keep what they saw to themselves. <laughs> uh. Yeah, you heard me. Keep your roving eyes on me, McQueen, otherwise. If Mystique was so mystic, how come I was able to get this ball from her, eh? Like my trophy collection, I won first place in stealing trophies. More than once, I might add. Nanny taught me everything I know about underground DJing and illegal raves. She's my hero. A <laughs> leg. I had to fight somebody for that one. A mysterious one-legged man. Whose ashes are these? Grandpa Dooley? No, no, we didn't cremate him. We just sort of left him at the side of the road when he was done. <laughs> I've no idea who these belong to. I think the name might be Trevor, but it's hard to understand the ghost's constant wailing. They're my ashes now. Deal with it, ghost. Oh, we've done the brain one, haven't we? Monkey paw. This curse cost an orangutan its entire forearm. My little Patrick, back when he was only 17 pixels. Ah, <laughs> oh, the old country. The perfect likeness. Yes, I thought so too. Odd since I found it in somebody else's trash. Ah oh, well. <laughs> Springs seem heavily worn. Too much information. Why is this door ajar? Oh, there's a man in there. Oh yes, I, I should have said the door was open a bit so he would have fresh air. <laughs> Upside down man in closet. Seamus. Ah. Now Seamus, now he's at people while you're in my room. Sorry. What do you want to know? Seamus the caretaker. 
I take care of the place, but not in the bang bang mafian sense. I take care in the men's chairs and what a plant's way. Trying to get a nap in, clearly being upside down is for a me spine. Convincing. Really? You sounded very dodgy to me. Agreed, I was saying that ironically. See, I'd have gotten that if we had voice acting. Yes, that's what I'm here for. Okay, cool. I don't know why I've changed his voice like that. Why do I have this sudden feeling like I've been wasting my life chasing monsters? <laughs> Man, I'm I'm just <laughs> just I'm just a guy innocently hanging upside down in a closet, not a therapist. <laughs> <coughs> needles and twine. Those are old needles. Do you want them? Little Patrick is always telling me how you like to stuff random things into your pockets. Oh yes, thanks. Klepto. <laughs> I feel weird. Yeah, me too. In there I wanted to get into a fast pursuit with a centaur or something. Something thrilling. I was ready to give up being a cop and pursue my lifelong dream of not being a cop. <laughs> it's fading since we left that room. I suspect we need to look into Seamus a bit more. Can I get in here now? Here we go. Okay, we can lift it out of the way. What? I'll help. I'm just not as into all that stuff you like. You know, physical exertion. I'm all about the mind sweat. If you promise to never say mind sweat again, I'll help deal. Deal. Get somewhere, chat. We're flying now. That's the cleanest janitor cart I've ever seen. I think he cleans it after use. Impressive. I keep my mop and bucket clean by not using it. I respect the play, me too. Oh, we should take some paper in case we need to uh, make notes or trace a gravestone. Don't try to trick me. I oh, know you're taking it because the printer at work hasn't had paper in ages. How am I meant to print our character sheets? You tell me that. <coughs> There's a note saying, please assemble at your earliest convenience. I guess we could do that. Help out around the place, you know. You know my thoughts on helping. Okay, the paper is in place, let's port this key out. Yeah, closet key, let's go. Let's see what's in here then. Wait, does he live in here? Have you seen the rental market? Something cosy like this is a find. A class photo. It must be Seamus. Looks like he graduated alone. No, wait, look at the clothes. There are others there, alright? They're just invisible. The plaque says Class of 1809 E. Bathroy, C. Orlock, V. Tepes, S. Murphy, C. Count, M. Karnstein, L. De Lion Court. S. Murphy, that's our Seamus, the caretaker. Oh? The caretaker, we're in his room. Caretaker, what caretaker? The guy in your, <laughs> the guy in your nan's closet hanging upside down. Not ringing any bells, sorry, detective. Interesting. Religious stuff. <laughs> it's a collection of religious icons from a number of faiths. Who keeps garlic on their wall? It's pretty loose, so not that. Uh, so not this guy anymore. <laughs> Cheer up, Lamp. It can't rain all the time. Eric? What? No. Looks like an inversion chin bar, but without the leg cuffs. If going by is hanging upside down in your nan's closet, is anything to go by? That and the lack of bed in here, I think he sleeps on that. Uncomfortable, but impressive. A stack of self-help books. They look recently purchased. Normal enough stuff. Socks, pants, vest and a black cape with a red velvet lining and high collar. <laughs> Wait. One of those things was not as normal as the others. 
Oh, there's a set of keys in there. They could be useful. Smelly keys. It's empty, but there are bits of torn up mail all around it. Whatever post he got, he must have thrown it out. It might be important. Love me a smelly key. Okay, let's see what's in these. Yeah, we've got them all out. Not seen anything in here. What about you, Dooley? What? Oh, uh, no. You weren't looking, were you? Look. You know I wasn't looking. I know I wasn't looking, but you can't prove anything, so let's move on, yeah? Well, that is just filled with thrown away teeth. Nightmare fuel. Nightmare fuel. Mm, there is a copy of the media magazine variation here. It has a note attached. Just wanted to share the good news. V. Interesting. This issue's main focus seems to be on a film about Dracula that's coming out. Dracula? He's a famous he's a famous vampire based off an old European count of Vlad Tepes. Name doesn't ring a bell. Where would I have met him? I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have met him. He died centuries ago. Oh, okay, I understand. Right, so do we go to Europe to arrest him, or is there a TLPD EU spin-off show? We're not, we're not arresting him. So we just let him get away with it. Away with what? He's just a story. Hmm, sure, that's what they say about the platypus. But I know it's out there. I'll find you yet, you duck-faced raccoon. Why is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula sending you mail? Is Dracula real? Uh, are you are you a vampire? I mean, define vampire. Blood-sucking monster. First of all, monster is a loaded term, and not all vampires drain blood. That's just sanguinarians. There are emotional vampires too, and reverse versions of both. I am a reverse emotional vampire. People feel what I feel. Wait, how does a reverse sanguinarian work? Fairly disgustingly, at best it's a guy in an alley offering you a sack of blood. Uh, I don't want to know what the worst case is, so wait, if you're a reverse emotional vampire and everyone here is acting up, when Vlad sent me this film stuff, I started thinking, what am I doing with my life? Everyone else is so famous and respected, I'm just this caretaker, you know? Maybe I need to change what I'm doing, you know? You're having a mid unlife crisis, so everyone here is having one too. Yeah, sorry about that, not much I can do to change it. Okay, Dooley, all we need to do is cheer this guy up and everyone will stop acting like loons. Maybe he needs a sandwich. And a cup of tea. Does he want some garlic? Oh, garlic, my fave, but it's too late for a snack. Hey. Oh, here we go. Out here might do for an award party. What do we need to jazz the place up? Well, in my mind, it's not a party without food and drink. I guess if it's an award thing, we need a red carpet and a way to get him over it. Uh, get him out here? Out here. What do we know about reverse vampires? Oh, uh, I wasn't paying attention when Doris told us last season. I can't recall either. Uh, well, his room suggested daytime good, night bad. And pro-garlic, you know, the reverse of normal vampire things. Can you write all that down, Dooley? Sure. Food, drink, other things Dooley likes. Check it, check. Fine, I'll make the list. You can even ask me if you want proof. I need, to find, I need to find a special ancient tool to assemble this. Screwdriver. Wait, there's a no food in here. It's just clean socks, religious tomes, and rhyming couplet predictions. Ah, oh, damn, this thing's bust. Listen. The brown cloaked man will get this place out of a jam with a gift. Spirits will be lifted. Sure, it's accurate, but those are some dirty rhymes. Jeez. What do we need? Clock. Normal visiting hours are almost done, which means it's almost conjugal time. You like it? You can take it home with you if you'd like my little gift to you. Thanks, but it's him who's more into taking items. Oh. He cannot have it. 
it is not for him. I wouldn't drink that, I'm building up my tolerance of Aether for a trip to Midgard. Various notices for staff. Please don't smuggle the elderly out for raves. Stop stealing dentures, we're gonna find you. Practicing witchcraft on or for the patients is frowned upon. <laughs> of course they'd say that. A large white rug-like throw. What kind of animal is this? The unclassified kind. I killed that baby when I was on my Erasmus scholarship to the lost city of Zed. Witch doctor. Ah, context. Doctor, any opinions on what's happening here? Happening here, everything seems pretty normal to me. What? Everyone is acting like wild teenagers. How can you think that's normal? Teenagers are pretty wild, man. Yeah, but old people aren't. You just said they were. You're making no sense. You don't know what you're talking about. I think I know what I'm talking about. I'm the resident medical expert, after all. You mean medical expert, surely? I mean what I said. Now let me go back to my nap before I make a voodoo doll out of all these parking tickets I have in my pocket. If I built this here, it'll work somewhere to put the food and drinks on. Right, let's see what we have here. Some legs at top and a few holdy together bits. I just have to follow the instructions to a set my okay. So the instructions are in Swedish. No problem, I'll just use the picture easy, right? I mean, I would hope so, right? Hey, we actually get to build it, look. Building a table. There we go, one borked table ready for use. I need these to load out Sheamus, and I'm not convinced I'll do that unless I make them more appealing to him. Can't throw a party without finger food for the guest of honour. Garlic sandwiches, let's go. Stinky. Well, lay the ornamented sandwiches out here. Cups of tea. I'll put the tea here to load out the residence. A white carpet seems to lack the gravitas we want. I like this guy. Ah, oh, here we go. Sorry guy, I gotta come in and make sure you're not doing anything dangerous in there. How did you get in here? Uh, I guess you're in now, no point in trying to chase you off, what do you want? You a fan of Space Hop then? Yeah, you too, eh? A fan of it? I was in it. Wait, you're not... Stand a man, the original red shirt. No way, Dooley. This guy got killed every week, then he'd be back the following week with no explanation. Confusingly worded contracts, that's your explanation. Oh, the magic of show business. Say, you want to take that shirt as a souvenir? I have a load of them. One for each death. Yes, please. Well, I'm shutting the rigger in here, so it's time to turn it on. Okay, that turned the rug red, that's carpety, right? It's not an award ceremony without a red carpet. I think we're good to go. Look, people are already starting to gather. Yum tea! All the better for being free! I can't remember what his accent was. Pass me a sandwich. It's so bright out! Do these taste of garlic? <laughs> What's all this? I got the smell of some delicious garlic sandwiches and so it was daytime and figured I should eat something. It's a surprise party. Thanks for everything you've done to help these people. Like an award ceremony. Best, uh... Best friend category. The world's a little easier with a best friend. Yeah, that's it, buddy. That is it. Oh, how lovely. Where's the award then? Uh... Oh, right, uh... Patrick... <laughs> Patrick has it. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Do I? Yeah, 
Yes, the gift I asked you to bring. It was an award for Seamus. I know you boys have put on this show to save the day, but we actually really did get him an award. We know he's a reverse vampire, and because of that, we're really enjoying our time here. We feel his love for us. So we got him an actual award to say thanks. It's not a movie deal, but we hope you like it. Oh, you guys. Three cheers for Seamus. Hooray! He's only getting the one cheer. We don't have time to be repeating ourselves. Now, you boys, come to my room. I have... <laughs> Voices. Now, you boys, come to my room. I have a letter for Patrick. Patrick, you have to go to Ireland. What, now? Family tradition. All doolies have to do a coming-of-age ceremony. I presume they didn't invite you because, you know, American. But it turns out the invite got mixed in with the love letters from your grandpa. I was reading them earlier today when Seamus was feeling down. I'm too old to go with you, and I hate travelling, so you'll need to bring somebody else. Will you come, detective? Of course, Dooley. Yeah, it looks like the Trouble Brothers are going to Ireland. The Trouble Brothers? Yeah, is that not what we call ourselves? It's what I call us. Anyway, to Ireland! Case closed.